How do I mint an NFT directly from contract? Well, if you had the same expression as I did, I'm going to teach you today how you can easily mint an NFT directly from a contract. It is really, really important if you are into NFTs that you should know this particular thing. Why? Because a lot of projects or every project that comes up, they give you two options. You can mint from NFT contract and their website, or you can just mint from their website. When it comes to minting from their website only, that is actually equal for all the investors that are trying to mint that particular project because all of have the same chance of getting the NFT. If all of them clicks at the same time, although the gas would be extremely high, but usually the project allows you to mint from website you have an equal chance as the another person however when an nft provides you an opportunity to mint not just from the website but from the contract also and if you don't know how to do it from the contracts you are losing a lot why so let's take an example of shinsekai here shinsekai was an nft project that was launched and i was whitelisted for it however i was a bit more cautious uh, in minting the project because it was over allocated which is never a good thing but the people who took who were the early risk takers who knew that this project could do well what they did was they quickly went on the contract and they quickly minted the nft directly from the contract and listed it they had a loophole in their smart contract which allowed people to mint more than one nfts and they were quickly minting them listing them selling them and then making money because the demand was so high the first people who joined who got in were quickly able to sell it and make money however the people who were waiting for the website to work took a lot of time because usually whenever a project launches their website it takes a bit more time to stabilize and start minting on it and on the ether scan side where, where you can mint the project directly from contract you can do it as soon as it launches and that's the reason i want you to know it so that next time a nft project launches and it tells you that you can mint it directly from contract you don't have to wait for the minting website to work you can quickly go to ether scan quickly mint that nft and sell it on the secondary market deciding the floor Right, so because you would be the first one, floor would be as per you. You can keep any floor. What happens is, as soon as people start minting from website, they get cautious, they get scared that they might lose their money, and they start listing it at a below price, which is even below the mint price. However, the people who mint first and sell first make a good amount of money. But this is again a very risky move. So before you do it, make sure the project has initial hype and it is meant to sold out, and it does not feel like that the project will not get sold out even. So before doing this kind of trick with any project, make sure you do your own research and make a lot of money with it. But before we start the video, all I would say is if you're interested in content like NFTs, make sure you do subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and like the video. Let's get started. So before moving towards how you can do that, I would love to show you that I'm doing two giveaways on my Twitter account right now. One is for Triwars NFT. This project is really good. I really like the art of this particular project. Hence, I talked them uh, for a collab and we are doing that on my Twitter account. If you've not joined it yet, quickly go and join it right now. The second one is going to be Flippin' Rabbit. Okay, the art for this project looks pretty awesome. The way they have shown till now the art on their Twitter account and their engagement is also extremely high. So I don't think so you should be missing this particular project. Uh, only 10 people or you can see 6 people have joined in in this particular project till now. If the chances of you winning is extremely high, so quickly go and get into it. Now, let's move towards how to mint a project directly from smart contract. I'll be taking Bode Yacht Club as an example because I feel if I take another project example and uh, if any of the viewers go and quickly buy it, it would be a loss for them. Uh, because I am just showing it as an example and not doing any kind of research on a project right now. Uh, let's take Bode Yacht Club as an example and it would be exactly same for any other project that you want to get in. So I'll be choosing this first uh, ape that I'm getting. So uh, whenever a project comes up on OpenSea and you want to know about that particular project on Etherscan, there are two ways you can do it. First would be uh, in the Discord as soon as the project launches or before the launch, the team would be sharing a contract address. You need that contract address to find that particular project on etherscan the second way would be if the nfts are minted you can open the uh, page even if one nft is minted you can quickly go open that one nft and uh, in the detail section you'll be finding contract address all you would need to do is click on this particular contract address and it will come up in etherscan otherwise you can copy the contract address from discord paste it up here and it will show up right here now to mint it directly from contract what we need to do is go to the contract button here it shows contract and write contract when you go on write contract, this gives you an option to mint directly from contract. 
but to mint uh, a nft from a contract you need to connect your web3 wallet in my case it is going to be metamask so i'll be connecting my Meta metamask wallet uh, i've already did it before so that's why it's not giving me it's not asking me permission right now but you can uh, when you do it your metamask will pop up and it will ask you for a permission to connect to this website or not you can definitely do it a yes but make sure you are at etherscan.io only don't visit on any fake websites because in nfts or in crypto we know a lot of scams are going out and i don't want you to lose any kind of money now when you've connected your wallet here you can go on mint ape so this shows mint ape it might show mint it might show the project name mint whatever the project name would be so all you need to do is click on the mint and the if it's project name great if not if it just says mint click on this now mint ape is how much are you ready to pay in ether so board ape yard club was 0.08 ethereum when it minted out how do i know that very good question we can go to read contract here and this will give us the detail of the particular project everything about it so if i go to a price this shows me a huge number in ui nt 256 you can convert this ui nt to eth i have done i've opened i've googled it out right here and the first website if i go to i would need to copy this number here you can copy this number and you can paste it in the way tab and it shows you the ether cost is around 0.08 eth so this project minted out for 0.08 ETH and you can imagine the amount is sitting at right now. A lot of projects would not be able to do this at all. The second thing, if you want to know how much is the maximum you can purchase for that particular project, just click on max uh, purchase uh, icon and it will show you for Bored Yard Club, you could have minted 20 of them at once and could have made, you can imagine a lot of money, but it's in the past. Let's ignore it. It's 20 for Bored Yard Club. now. We'll go back to write contract if I if I want to mint an NFT and let's say my board of yard club was for 0.08 Ethereum. If I want to mint one, I'll write here 0.08 and the number of quantity that I want to mint is one. If in case I'm planning to mint two of them, then we need to write two here and the purchase price will go to increase. We'll be multiplying 0.08 into two, which I think should be 0.16 if my math is right. And this is how you can easily uh mint the number of nfts you want this project allows you 20 so i can mint 20 here but not all projects allow this much of minting usually projects allow one or two max so if it's a one you can do one if it's two you can do two don't mint uh no don't, don't try to mint a project which just say one and you can you try to mint it to, uh, two out of it because you might lose your money on the second one it will allow the contract to go ahead you'll get one nft but you'll lose the money for one it is really a risky game and if you feel that there is a breach in the contract and you want to exploit it which is never a good thing i personally never do it and i never recommend anyone to do it but if you try to do this kind of stuff might lose your money so it's very risky too after a lot of research about this stuff now uh, i've I want to mint two NFTs and the price is going to be 0.16 for me. I would need to click on write. As soon as I click write, the MetaMask will pop up and this will show me the amount that I need to pay. From this part, we need to be very, very cautious because we're minting from contract. What happens here is you can see the amount of money it is asking me for gas is $1,300. That's insane. And why is it asking me this much of amount of money? Because this project has already minted out. The projects that have minted out completely, the number of gas, the amount of gas you'd be seeing is extremely high, would not make a sense at all. Whenever you see stuff like this, you, you need to realize that this project is sold out and you can't mint it anymore. Hence, reject it, move out of it move to secondary market if you want to buy it or move to some other project if this project would not have been minted out this would have given me a uh, mint price and the amount of gas and i could have accepted that but in this case since this project has already minted out hence it's giving me such a huge amount of gas so this would be one indication before you mint a project once you accept it you will be your nft will be minted out and it will be coming up on the secondary market you can quickly go on the secondary market list that nft out and make a lot more money than other people who are going to join in a bit late in this particular game so this will be all for today's video i hope you did enjoy it i hope you did understood how you can easily mint from a smart contract if you still have doubts feel free to let me know in the comment box below i would love to answer them and don't 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 forget to join in in the giveaways that i'm posting on my twitter account these are just small ones i plan so more giveaways in future that you can't even imagine and if you're not following me on twitter you're missing a lot of giveaways trust me that would be all for today's video i hope i see you in my next one thank you